Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Godfriends F4F Wildcat. And this is coming out today, the day of the release of this video. It might already have come out by the time you watch this. And we are going to be taking a good look at it. Look at this beautiful aircraft. As is usual with Godfriends, they pay great attention to detail. And this is not an exception. Look at this beauty. We're going to be taking a quite a good look at this. Uh, we're going to be taking off flying for a bit. I'm going to be showing the systems of the aircraft. Some very, very nice stuff. Got friends introduced with this aircraft. And we had to fly in Hawaii. This aircraft was very um, important for the Pacific. So Hawaii it is. This is one of the liveries. And if you do get it on the official Godfriends website, there is an exclusive livery. As you can see, these are the chocks here at the propeller. As you can see, we can uh, change the angle of attack. I am using the prop axis. I have a um, knob for the propeller. So yeah, very, very nice. Here we have the inside, and this aircraft will only be available in the official Godfriends website and the marketplace. If you do get it um, through the official website, you do get some bombs and um, 0.50, I believe. Very, very nice stuff. We're going to be taking a look at that later. Very, very nice. We even have some oxygen. I do have the two tips enabled, so I can show some stuff here, like the primer. Here we have the map tray. And we can install the mirror that sits right here. So mirror installed. And yeah, very, very nice stuff. Primer simulation. So this is the primer here. And then you can see if it's under primed, if it's ready, you know. Ground handling, uh, there is a realistic ground handling and there is the simplified. I do not have paddles, anything like that, so I'm going to go with simplified. Uh, aerobatic smoke, refill drop tanks, unfold wings, yep, please. Let's look at this animation. Nice. Let's push this in. Make sure, no, make sure all the way in. Fuel selector on main. Here we have some recognition lights. Uh, gun sight. Magneto. Both. And here is the primer. We hold this and we let it go. As you can see, it is pretty, pretty quick when we let it go. When it is just right, it's going to be slow. It says it's ready. Yeah. Can you see it? It's slightly slower than it used to be. So that's what you're looking for. Here we have the payload selector. So if we take a look outside, this is what the aircraft looks like. We get our payload in and this is what it looks like now. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very, 
we move here. Uh, a very nice thing, so we have the landing gear, we have both auto and crank. On crank, you have to basically um, move this yourself a bunch of times. I'm gonna leave this on auto. So yeah, generator is off, battery is coming on. Uh, we do have a camera. Loading. Loading. So nice. And there is even some um, movie effects. Nice. Let's reset the view and let's go back here. Uh, lights. Everything is looking good. Okay. Speaking of which, we have this panel right here. A launch, smoke, and wing. We can fold and unfold the wings using this. We do not have to use the the little map there. Okay. Nice. We do have uh, a molen flare. And if we look here, can we? Yeah, there it is. Very, very nice. Can we launch it again? We can. Look at this. So nice. So nice. So nice. Um, yeah, there's also the, the headset simulation, so we can... If it's too loud, we can put these on. But yeah, battery is on, generator is off, we are primed, we do have chocks on. So what I'm going to do is throttle slightly forward. And we are going to start the engine. So this is the starter. I'm going to move back a tiny bit so we can basically watch the, um, the propeller. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Let's increase the sound a little bit. Yeah, nice. We can open this. Okay, full forward. And then, just like I said, maybe it's too loud. You don't want to hear it. Bam. Just like that. Okay, so we do have engine on, generator is coming on. Flaps. And there is a flaps indicator right about here. As you can see, it's popping out. Yeah, that's our flaps indicator on the actual wing itself. So you can look at this when you're flying, when you're landing, taking off. Very nice stuff. This is your payload um, selector, so left, middle, and right. Middle, I believe, releases both, I believe. This is the sight. You can go between them. This one looks kind of nice. Emergency pump. I believe this should be on. Parking brake is off. And the parking brake is basically the chocks, really. Okay, so my tail wheel is locked. Let's unlock this and the uh, taxi should be better. Oh yeah, much better. We have lined up with the runway. And yes, this is the runway. I double checked. And we are looking good. Uh, main. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to show the launch. So with this aircraft, we have a catapult launch and we also have tail hook. So we can do some landings. Very, very nice. And you can use this on carriers. I have. It works fairly well, actually. So launch. There we go. 
we pick up speed very, very quickly. Gear coming up. And this is what I mentioned. If it is on crank, you've got to do this yourself. And yes, we are in Hawaii, as I have mentioned. VR flaps up. I'm gonna fly over this area one more time so we can basically take a good look. Beautiful place. It does provide ample view from the cockpit. Right here we have an airport. And there is a very, very specific reason I've chosen this area. So we're coming in. We can cut the throttle. So we can lose some speed. We can just control our speed now, so we can come back to land, just so I can show the tail hook doing what it should do. Gear is coming down. And tail hook is also coming down. And back here we can see a tail hook. And you can simulate a tail hook anywhere. Uh, ideally, you can do this in, a, in an aircraft carrier, but it, it works anywhere. We have plenty of runway here. Gently. No need to do a navy landing. I did not touch the brakes. This is all the tail hook. So the tail hook simulation is quite nice, quite nice. Brakes on. Catapult. And I should be flaps up still. Uh, indicator, yeah, flaps up. Gear up. And now we have the ocean, and in the ocean, we can play around a bit with. The weapons, they are exclusive to the God Friends website. So let's zoom out a bit. This is your main guns. He here is your basically your gun sight. Nice. And you can reload here. Charge. Charge. And you can assign this to a hotkey. In the manual, uh, it is basically laid out what hotkey does what. It's very, very straightforward. Change the view a little bit. 
trying to see what's going on. And here you have your bomb selector. So this is right. And this is the release. Let's do it again. As you can see, it is clearly animated. And now we can do the left one. Just gotta select left. And release. And there is an effect. Very, very nice. Let's check real quick if we can reload mid-flight. I don't believe we can, but let's check. Refill... Nope. We gotta land for that, but that's fine, that's fine. Now I can go for the smoke. Stalling a bitch. But the thing is, I, I just want to show that the smoke is working. And this aircraft is multiplayer compatible. So um, you should be able to basically fly with your friends. You just have to get the hang of it. Bam. Yeah, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Just want to land real quick so we can refill the payload. So, what we're going to do is we're going to follow runway kind of heading this way. It's a little trick you can do. Okay, let's land real quick so we can refill our payload. Let's drop our landing gear. I'm side slipping and a hook coming down. Uh, this is a little bit of a fun maneuver so we can land with a very agile aircraft. And let's see if we can land right at the start. We do have a tail hook. We're gonna stop very, very quickly. There we go. We are empty. And real quick. Um, refuel. No. Refuel. There we go. We've got more. Uh, this time we're not going to be using the catapult uh, flaps up, 
Just so we can see how fast uh, you pick up speed here. Throttle full forward. Nose down. 30 knots. Positive rage. Gear is coming up. It is a fairly slow process getting the gear to come up. Nine. I cannot get over the fact of how nice this was done. All the instruments inside, everything, the sound, the options we have. And you can pull some very, very tight maneuvers with the, the Wildcat. It doesn't roll too fast, but you can pull some very, very tight turns. Okay, let's keep some distance from the... I think that's a 737, I think. Didn't get a good look, but I think. As you can see, it is very, very responsive. I would say the flight model is forgiven. Very, very forgiven. and level very forgiven you can open the canopy mid-flight certain aircrafts um, it, it's not a really good idea to do this on certain aircrafts here it's completely it's it's good it's okay maybe it's a hot day it is a very very hot day here today so um, let's keep the canopy open. You can do that. That's nice. You want to fly out of a carrier? You can do that. That's very, very nice. You can fly very, very low. You want to do some sightseeing. Check some POIs. You can definitely do that. Look at this. Definitely do not recommend trying this in real life, but it's fun on on Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> Overall, I think this aircraft is extremely fun. Extremely well done. The aircraft model is beautiful. The foldable wings, they work. They fold. And then we have the smoke and uh, the weapons and everything else. We have a catapult, a simulated catapult. We have a tail hook. You can use this anywhere. I like this. Uh, I tested this aircraft with the carrier you get with the KA-10. It's uh, the Kuznetsov carrier. I might have completely butchered this name, but you get it with the K-10 by Touching Cloud. Excellent. 
a pack. I tested this, it works overall. Beautiful thing. The, the system is complex enough. We do have functional uh, circuit breakers, so what can I turn off here? We are level, yes we are. There we go. Oh, we have Pito. Gun sight, yeah, let's do the gun sight. It's gone. So the circuit breakers, they, they work completely fine. So the electrical system is simulated. Everything is simulated. And now, just before we go, we get to do something very, very funny. Something very, very funny and fun. Got friends went the extra mile. And we have propeller damage. So I have pulled the throttle back. Let's do some side slipping so we can burn some speed. Runway in sight. Gear is up. It will remain up. You know what they say, any landing you walk away from is a good landing, right? Well, not always. Not always. Center line. Just because we're gonna crash land, it doesn't mean we... <laughs> Ooh, nice, nice. Look at this. <laughs> we have propeller damage. That was so fun. That was so fun. Okay. We do have some smoke coming out. I'm gonna blame this on the co-pilot. I should not have let the co-pilot land this. <laughs> this was way too fun. If you enjoyed this, I will have a link in my description down below so you can get it for yourself. Um, I recommend getting it from the God Friends website since you will get an exclusive livery and the weapons will work. I, th I think those are big things. If you want to fly the Wildcat and you get to have the weapons, it's nice. Overall, this is an excellent package. The aircraft on the outside looks absolutely beautiful. The inside, great. The instruments, very well done. All the systems look very, very nice. I like it a lot. So yeah, I highly recommend buying this. Uh, again, link in my description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye-bye.